It's a ukulele brand this week that goes right back to my first experience with the instrument. Keep watching. Yeah, got a ukulele returns as ever, summary video review. Have a look at the links below the video, there's a lot more information down there. I'll take you to the website where you'll get a lot more information about this ukulele and all the others that I've reviewed. Some thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. As I say on each video, I don't get paid by the brands or the stores to do that, like some reviewers do, because they would be adverts. So this is purely impartial, and these people who donate help keep this site going. They're the only reason I can do it. Have a look at the links below the video if you want to help out yourself. That would be much appreciated. And why not also help me out by subscribing to this YouTube channel if you like what you see. You know what to do. There's the button. Press it. Okay, this brand. Uh, it's a brand that uh, goes back to the start of my experience with ukulele. And in fact, is the reason I write this website. Uh, the brand is called Mahalo. And back about 15 years plus ago in the UK, it was quite hard to get much choice of ukuleles. It was Carla, Ohana, or the Hawaiian stuff. Um, and I made the mistake of buying cheap, buy twice, and I bought a very cheap Mahalo Soprano, which was absolutely appalling. Uh, set, frets were sat on an angle, the setup was terrible, the construction was wrong, the neck was twisted. It was awful, I felt terrible, so I bought a flea behind me, and then decided to write about my experience and wrote some beginner's tips for how people should avoid making the mistake that I stupidly made. So it's down to Mahalo that I am here today, um, I've reviewed one or two other instruments from them over the years. They've never really impressed me. They've been, um, they're well known for these brightly coloured sopranos, pretty poorly made, very, very cheap. And somebody asked me to take a look at this. It's a new series from Mahalo, fairly new. This is the Mahalo Pearl MP3 tenor, also available in the, the other scales and also a guitar lately. And it is quite different from what I've ever seen from Mahalo before, as you can probably tell. Um, quite different indeed. Um, let's get into it. First of all, this has some solid wood in it, which is also unusual for Mahalo. This is a solid Sitka spruce top, uh, paired with laminate mahogany back and sides. Two pieces on the back there. Quite nice grain on the back, actually. This is laminate. Uh, single piece sides, that's laminate too, and this is the solid Sitka spruce. Looking more closely at it, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you with this light, it's not the greatest um, Sitka, Sitka spruce quality because the grain is variable in thickness, it's quite wavy which makes it look a little bit ugly. There's quite a few little floor marks and knot marks in it which are underneath the satin, so it's hardly AAA grade, but it is solid wood and it doesn't look too thick on the top either. All right, okay, that's that's an unusual uh, one for Mahalo. They're usually laminate cheap instruments, solid top, laminate back and sides. The bridge is a tie bar made of Amara ebony. That's the ebony with sort of more color in it. Um, also interesting to see that wood choice from uh, from Mahalo because that's a sort of a high end. Uh, you see the decoration here, this sort of pearl and rope marquetry. We'll be seeing quite a bit more of that soon. <laughs> And it's fitted with a new bone, Graftec new bone compensated top saddle. We've got to come on to the decoration. It's called the pearl for a reason. Around this top edge is this pearl binding and wooden rope marquetry, wooden rope marquetry around the sound hole as well. I like the marquetry, I hate the pearl because it's that plastic faux pearl that we call mother of toilet seat in the UK. It looks really cheap and gaudy and I don't like it. That's just me. I understand that that's purely a subjective thing. You may love it. I don't like it. Bear that in mind throughout this review and when you look at the score that I give this instrument. That's just personal opinion. The body is finished in a very, very thin satin. Can't really find any flaws with the satin, but as I say, there are these sort of smudgy marks underneath the satin, which is really annoying, so you couldn't polish those out. So it's it's far from perfect on the top, but it's at least it's not thick and gloopy. Inside, very tidy too. Notched linings, delicate thin braces. The top brace here is punched through with holes like Canalea style to reduce weight and keep rigidity. The bridge plate, though, is enormous, and I don't know why. They're obviously concerned about it splitting. That's not going to be good. You don't want a big bridge plate in this area, but that's what they have. Um, the neck is made of mahogany, three pieces. The joint at the heel, fairly obvious. The joint at the headstock, not so much so. More mother of toilet seat pearl with an oh so ubiquitous palm logo, very Hawaiian. 
Uh, okay. Um, and unsurprisingly, tapers to a very Chinese rounded profile, 36 mil wide at the nut, 27 from G to A. It's not my type of neck, but uh, your mileage may vary. Topped with an more Amara ebony for the fingerboard, which I really like, good condition. Nice bit of end shaping down there. Yet more pearl down the sides. Um, yet more gaudy, gaudy pearl down the sides. Um, yeah, no, don't like that. Position dots face out at five, seven, 10 and 12. Thankfully there are black dots on the side as well. And pearl, 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 pearl. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's just too much, <laughs> just too much. I really despise that. It just looks so cheap. Um, more rope marquetry around the edge, another palm tree, uh, the Mahalo logo, screen printed on in black. I just think that is just a step too much. It's a slot head, it just takes over. You may like it, I don't like it. Uh, incidentally, the nut here is made of plastic, not new bone like the saddle, which is surprising why they wouldn't use the same material. And the setup on it isn't great either. The nut needs taking down and the setup at the 12th uh, is just right at the top of what I consider ex acceptable. It's up at the three mil level, so I'd want to take that down, certainly want to take the nut down. Okay, the tuners are rear facing uh, gears. Uh, what I always find with Mahalo tuners is they're usually pretty poor quality and they usually have massive buttons. Whilst these look like better quality, stamped with the Mahalo logo, they're not actually. There's a lot of slop on the buttons, I am not be able to show you this, but these posts actually move in there. Yeah, it's, they're not very nice, and they're all different tensions. Okay, it comes with Aquila strings, a padded branded gig bag, and the street price, uh, they vary. Uh, you see them discounted quite a bit. This was about a hundred pounds, I think it's probably 90 to a hundred pounds. So it's not a huge amount of money for a solid topped instrument, and it's got that going for it. Uh, but we need to have a play of it. It's not, it's, you know, other than some of this finishing on the top, uh, it looks really scruffy, the, the colouring of the um, of the spruce. Um, it's not badly made, actually. It's not heavy, 545 grams, not a lot of money. Yeah, I don't like all of this gaudiness. Uh, you may like it. Bear that in mind, you can readjust my scoring and give it a higher score on the on the looks, because I don't give it a high score on the looks. Yeah, it comes with, as I said, critter strings, bag, strap button as well. Uh, feels all right to hold, nice and balanced as well. Um, let's have a play of the thing. Up to pitch with the strobe tuner. There may be some intonation issues with these high strings, I would imagine, maybe not. Sometimes they cancel each other out, but it will be harder to play. Right, volume. Okay. Not the best I've ever heard, but certainly not quiet. Sustain is quite short, actually. I wonder whether this big plate in here is just zapping that down. brightness there because we've got the spruce top but it's not all bright it's still a little bit overly bright for me if you like woody darker tone instruments for your tenors I, I think you'd look elsewhere for this one. but there's clarity to the strings there's certainly clarity to the notes it's not muddy which is usually a failure but what I'm sensing when I strum it is I don't know whether you'll get this on the camera, but what I say about laminate, and I don't have a problem with laminate, I always say this, I choose a good laminate over a poor quality solid wood every time, but with laminate, some laminates you get this boxy, echoing sound to it, and when I'm strumming this, that's what I'm hearing, and it's taking away my enjoyment from the strumming. Uh, finger picking is much nicer. want more 
more sustain for the finger pick. It's, it's very generic tone, it's not got a huge amount of character to it, but it does work. Now, okay, it's a solid top. I, I, to be honest, if it was a laminate top, I'm not entirely sure you'd know the difference, to be honest. Um, so is it solid for the sake of it? Probably. But it is only about 100 quid, so it's not a lot of money. So it does get a good value for money score. However, I still think I would be suggesting people just put a bit more money in the pot, save another few weeks or another couple of months and get a little bit more money on the pile. Go for something like, you know, the Anu Inui Solid Top uh, concerts there or instruments from Kai, Flight, Uma, all make instruments with solid tops or even don't go with a solid top. Because um, it seems good value, but I it still doesn't get a recommendation from me, partly because I don't like all, the, all of this. But I think the sound is, is pretty one-dimensional, uh, although it does work. Uh, there we are, okay, certainly, certainly a far, far cry from previous Mahalos I've looked at, a real step up. But I think it's almost like they've made a step up a little bit too late because the market is so, so buoyant and there's so much choice out there now that I think, why would you get this? I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. There's just so much else out there that I'd suggest people look at. So I think they got to the party a little bit late, Mahalo. Although it is, as I say, a big step up over what I've looked at before. The Mahalo MP3 Pearl Tenor, also available soprano, concert, baritone, and guitar lele. I think they also make an option with an EQ in the side as well, but you know what I think about those. Um, not a howler, not a howler, but um, just doesn't stand out. Um, in the market anymore as an instrument certainly stands out for this stuff <laughs> anyway there we are thank you very much for watching and your continued support for the Gully Ukulele channel it's much appreciated uh, back on with reviews each week now I've had my holiday um, refreshed tired um, and I will see you next week don't know what's coming next week I'm sure it'll be interesting I've got boxes and boxes and boxes downstairs I will see you all very soon take care everybody bye bye